debunk some Wikipedia because some of this seems like it could be far fetched or could be a one hundred percent correct. So let's. No, no, I haven't read it in a long time. Well, so, let, so this is from might Wikipedia. Catch me off guard on this one. Oh well, th th these aren't like oh my god, I can't believe uh, you know Chase did that. It's more okay. okay. So it says you and your tag team partner Andy, the Naturals. Uh, we're originally going to receive a tryout for the WWE at a Raw taping in September of 2007, but was canceled when your tag team partner, Andy Douglas, posted the tryout information on his MySpace without WWE's permission. Is this real or is this Wikipedia? Yeah, uh, that's it's it's OK. It's a little both. We did get we did get a tryout. Uh, we, we wrestled. We wrestled uh, Kofi Kingston and and Shannon Moore. Um, like before the doors open, they, they got us in the ring and had us do a tag match with those two. And I'd already done uh, one of the video games with, uh, did the, did all the um, motion caption for Kofi. So when I locked up with Kofi, I was like, Hey, I know all your moves. Like, uh, let me, let me call it real fast. And I got you, you know, and, and you know, we, we tore down just, just, you know, not choreographing anything, just walking and talking and everybody's, everybody's outside the ring watching us. And then when we get out, the, the stars, the people that are on TV, is like, how'd you guys do that? How'd you guys walk in there and us not hear you talk and you guys call everything? I'm like, because we've been doing this a long time. We're, we're pretty good at this, you know. So like, and I was, you know, I'm cocky and everything, you know. So so uh, we end up getting uh, we end up getting told that we was, we was getting hired that we need to go give blood and urine sa samples and all that in downtown Nashville. Uh, we our um, our contracts are coming in the mail. And to be looking, be looking for them, um, because they had, still had to type them up and all that other stuff. It's gonna be sent out to us. We get home, and Andy goes and blogs that, uh, you know, uh, screw Spike TV, we're moving on to better things. USA is calling our name, blah blah blah. And then he shuts his phone off for three days, can't get a hold of him. So, uh, so like I wake up the next day with all the, I mean, like more emails than I've ever had in my life of congratulations. And I'm like, oh, what happened? What happened? You know, I'm like reading. I, I'm like, oh, man, they must already put out we got hired, you know, because I didn't because I was told not to. You know what I mean? So uh, so then I started reading the dirt sheets and I was like, oh, God, oh, no. So uh, I tried to get hold of Andy and he'd, he'd, he'd just, you know, sometimes you clock out in wrestling. Like he clocked out, he turned his phone off, stayed off the Internet for three days and just took a break, you know, lived life. And uh, when I finally got a hold of him, I was like, I'd already got the phone call. Like, hey, the contracts are coming. Like, that, they're void now. Like, don't don't sign those. Like, we we gotta you gotta re go through the evaluation process again because you didn't listen to what we told you. And I was like, oh my gosh. So yeah, yeah, kind of happened, kind of didn't. You know what I mean? Um, so but we did have a tryout. We did get hired. We did get it voided. Um, yeah, I I got it somewhere around here. I still got the contract somewhere around here. So. Wow, take a picture and post that, you know. Yeah. Post it on your MySpace. Post yeah. it on your MySpace. I'm a, yeah. Put it on my, I'm a top eight. I'm going to add them to my top eight on MySpace. Oh, man. Could I be in your top eight? Yeah, you could be oh, in my top eight. Thanks. Why not? You can extend it to 16. 32 is too much. 32 too is much. too much. Too much. Uh, and then put I lost that a lot of girlfriends because that top eight. Oh man, my a, god! I put a hot chick on that top eight, and I was done. I was Someone's done. like, "Who's that? Who's that woman <laughs> who's number two? That's my mother." Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when she was younger. That's my mom when she was younger. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, dude. And MySpace, when you put a song on there and you had your volume at a hundred, and you go on someone's MySpace, suddenly System yep. Down is blasting on your computer. You're like, "Oh my god, this is too much." Man, it, it took me a couple years to switch over to Facebook. I was a I love MySpace. Like MySpace was like everything to me. When everybody started changing Facebook, I was like, I don't like this. I don't like it at all. It's boring. Like, you know, this and that. And, and but it uh it's you know, it, it, I'm used to it now. I don't even know how I did MySpace. I don't know how I put songs on all that. Like I used to it's like I was programming. I knew how to like do all the dots and all that stuff. Do you me know too. what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I would find websites you could copy and paste like the URL yeah. into the system. So it would just suddenly have a backdrop of like Jim Carrey from the mask as your background a thousand yep. times over. Yep. Those, those are very interesting. Um, two more, two more questions. Then we'll let you prepare. Okay. Um, so you did later appear on WDTV though, March, 2008 and you and your partner, 
get you kind of get you get, you're brought back again, and this time you're losing effort to the Big Show. What is it like competing against the Big Show? Because everyone talks about Andre the Giant as being this mammoth of a man and the things he would do to you in the ring if he didn't like you. Big Show. Let's uh, let's start here. Did he like you? And what was it like competing with him? Man, he was great. He was he was great to deal with. That was my first time getting to meet him, and uh, I never got to meet Andre, so I really don't. I just heard the same stories of you, that you have, like of how big he was. So I can, there ain't no way I can compare because I never got to meet Andre. But uh, Big Show's big. Like I mean, his fist is my face. You know what I mean? Like one fist, and I was I was taking the punch at the end, you know. And so I told him, and oh, my hip had went out while I was like leaning up against the ring, like talking to him. My hip completely gone. And it was a it was a sciatic nerve, but I thought I was I thought I had a bad hip and was going to have to have a hip replacement. So I, and it was like the second time this has happened, and I was like, "There's like all right, you know, I'm I'm telling him I'm like, hey, just hit me as hard as you can, like and I'm falling, you know." And he's like, "No, I ain't gonna hit you as hard as I can." I was like, "Oh, come on, I've been in so many bar fights, like I felt big guys hit me, like I can take it, man. I I got." It. And he's like, "No, no," he's like chuckling, like I know. I'm like, "All right, whatever, pussy." <laughs> so. So I go to leave and my hip, my hip's like gone. And Andy's like, come on, we got to go. And I was like, yeah, I can't, man. Just keep talking to me. Like, I'm trying to get this to pop back in or something, you know? And he's like, oh my God, what are we going to do? I was like, I don't know. I got to take this punch. That's all I know. Like, just get me in the middle of the ring and let me take this punch somehow, you know? And, and uh, it ended up, ended up being fine by the time my adrenaline started kicking in. But it's just getting me off the floor when there's opening the doors. And I'm getting yelled at. Like, get off the floor. I was like, we're still going over it. Calm down. You know, but we wasn't going over it. I just couldn't uh, – I really couldn't walk, you know. And I didn't want him, like, picking me up like a, like a dummy and carrying me all the way up the ramp, you know. So um, so we ended up uh, getting back there, and, and and everything worked out. We got in the ring, and, you know. You couldn't tell that I was hurt by any means. And – uh. Man, I took the lightest punch from him. Like I, you know, I did that handstand bump that, that I used to be able to do. Now I'm old; I can't do it anymore. But, uh, but you know, the handstand bump, and uh, he he pinned me. He's like, "Thank you." And I, and if you watch on there, I was like, "You're yeah, like a girl," and he's like chuckling, like as he's pinning me because I'm like getting his ear, like talking crap. So, uh, you know, whenever they get done, uh, the rest try to get me up. We go dark, and I don't move. And he's like, "Are you out?" I just, I keep, I don't move. So he does the X. They have to bring, they bring the stretcher out. They get me on the stretcher, get me all the way through the side curtain. As soon as I w- felt the curtains go closed, I raised up, I thanked them all. You know, and Michael Hayes throws his paperwork up in there and he's like, Are you kidding me? I haven't been worked in so many years. I was like, Well, you just got work, brother. <laughs> I was like, I'll be right over here watching the program if you want to bring us a contract or anything like that. So, uh, so I get off, I go over there and they, man, they talked to us about it. They told us to uh, talk to Johnny Ace. Uh, we went in and was talking to Johnny. And because we didn't call him Mr. Uh, Laurinaitis, he had attitude with us from the get go. And, but I thought we were, I thought we were cool because he used to tag with uh, Shane Douglas. So I just figured, like, I was, hey man, uh, your old tag partner Shane used to manage us on TV. He told us a lot about you. And I just go in this conversation when I'm talking to him, and because I didn't, I didn't start the conversation with Mister. Like, all right, he just buried me. And I was like, oh man, man. I looked at Andy. I was like, dude, I'm sorry, man. Like, shit. So yeah, that's that's how that all went down. Like, uh. But yeah, we had it. We had that tryout, you know, and, and it went good up until I had to talk to Johnny Ace. Yeah, <laughs> and well, I didn't say that Mister Word right there. I, you know, I've talked to so many wrestlers over the past <laughs> years, and it's always the case. John Laurinaitis seems to come up a lot, as in oh, people you were either in his camp or you are not in his camp, and if you were not, not in his camp, team. oh my. You are yeah. ruined. You are you are told because yeah. he's got Vince McMahon's ear, the guy who created yeah. sports entertainment, and he's telling yeah. Vince, "This guy sucks." Well, guess what? If Vince, if you, if if this right hand man tells him you suck, well, he's going to believe that you suck and never even bother thinking about it again. One hundred percent. And Vince believes everything he says for whatever reason. I I don't know how he's got that. How he had that job, got that job. I don't care. I just mean I there I there was a time, it wasn't that time, but there's the next time I ran into him, I sit down with the contract and he pulled it away from me in the middle of my sign. And I man, I just cut a promo on him. I, I got they, they end up escorting me out, security grabs onto me, they pull my bags, uh Festus, uh Luke Gallo's like, brother, I don't think you're coming back. I was like, oh man, I don't think 
I got my own valets now. <laughs> They're like carrying my bags for me out to the car. <laughs> so wait a minute, I mean, <laughs> wait a minute. So you have a contract in front of you as you're signing it, and right in front he, of and, me. And John Laurinaitis rips out of your hands. Yeah, yeah, in the middle of the sign. Yeah. For what reason though? And he said I wasn't WWE material. He's like I've evaluated you, and you're just not WWE material. After I waited all night for the contract because because I'd done uh I'd done Raw against uh Jack Swaggered. And then the next Monday I did Raw against uh, Mike Knox and we set up a tag team match where it's me and Dreamer come to the ring and made the save. And we set up a tag team where me and Dreamer against Mike Knox and Jack Swaggered on the next Raw. So when I got in the back, I asked Tommy, I was like, where are we at next week? And he's like, what's your itinerary say? And I was like, I don't know where you, where you get those at. And he's like, dream email. So, man, I'm like, I'm going back three weeks, but three weeks on my email, it that's like. 75,000 spams I got to go through. You know what I mean? I'm like, dude, how do I know where it's at? Like, how do you guys find this stuff? I was like, how do they even know what email I have? Cause I got four and he's so I finally go find him again. I was like, Hey, what email do you think they email me at? He's like, what ones you put on your contract? And I was like, Oh shit. I ain't got one of those. And he's like, what? He's like, you supposed to sign one last week. Like I printed one out for you last week. How'd you get here? And I was like, I drove. He's like, where are you at? I was like, well, I live in Nashville, but I was in South Carolina. He's like, we're in Cleveland, Ohio. I was like, I know, I haven't slept. I drove all the way through to make this. And he's like, Chase, you're supposed to fly. Like, you're supposed to have a contract. And I was like, well, I mean, if you can figure out where that's at, I would I would love to get that figured out so I can get out. Of, I got a rental car, so I can, I can take a flight home, like whatever you guys need me to do. And uh, he's like, yeah, I'll get you. I'll get it. So then he comes back. And he's like, Larry and I just got it. Like, don't don't leave till you, till you talk to him. So, I, man, I sit there all night. They, like, tear the ring down. Ring crew's, like, leaving and everything. I was like, man, did I miss him? Did he go out a different door? Because, you know, the parking garage is, like, right here. And I'm just sitting in that hallway, and here he comes, you know, about 11.30 at night, walking down. And, I'll, I, you know, now I'm like, hey, Mr. Laronitis. Like, I, I was told to wait here and talk to you. And he's like, oh, really? You know? And I was like, yeah. And then he's like, oh, no, let me, let me come over here. Let's see. Like, sits down at a table. And he's like, yep, I do. I got a contract with your name on it. And puts it in front of me and i was like can i get an ink pen and he, he's looking through his briefcase goes give me an ink pen and then pulls it away on me as i was reaching for it and i was like what he's like hey, i just i just want you to know I've, I've evaluated you and you're just not wwe material like grabs my paperwork puts it back in his briefcase and i was like uh he's like is there anything else i can help you with and i was like man this has got to be a joke like, they got to be pulling my leg. So, like, I get up all slow, push my chair in. Like, I'm in trouble or something, you know? I'm, like, waiting for him to be like, oh, I'm just kidding. You know, I, like, slowly turn around and start walking off. And I was like, man, this ain't a joke. This is real life. I was like, oh, no, nope. I'm standing up for myself. Like, I turned around, and I was like, F you. And he's like, excuse me? And I was like, man, you don't know me. I was like, but I know you. I know everything about you. I was like, you can't work. I was like, you rode your brother's coattails your whole life. I was like, you had to carry a skateboard to the ring because you couldn't ride one. I was like, you know, use the flag bearer for the sheep herders. I was like, I know your whole story. I was like, but you don't know anything about me. I was like, your ratings are at all time low. I was like, you're the one that gets fired. I was like, so I'm going to be the guy on the indie scene that's going to find you, buddy, when you get done. And he's like, get him out of here. I was like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> like, you know, security just got a hold of me. I'm like getting get my bags drug out with me. And I, Gals was waiting on me to go out and get something to eat. And he's like, oh, man, <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble hanging out with you. I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> like, 